This is the ninth in a series of videos in which I'm repairing an IBM 5120 computer system. In the previous video I was working on this component. As you can see it was in extremely poor condition and so I stripped it back to bare metal and I've now repainted it so it now looks like this. So as you can see it's in much better condition. Um, as I say I used uh, an edge primer and a very good quality top coat. It's had three coats, I've baked it so it's now a good hard resilient finish and it's ready to start reassembling so this is uh, just one of the parts that I'll be refinishing. Now this is not a restoration on this machine it's just intended as a repair but um, because this is a fairly historically important machine um, I wanted to tidy it up as I went and make sure that um, I make at least a half decent job of uh, repairing it if indeed I can repair it. So the next step on this is to reassemble it, refit the various parts. I have cleaned the parts that go on this. We've got the fan that obviously sits on the back, the motherboard, uh, this is kind of a, an interim motherboard, uh, interconnect board. Uh, so I've tidied this up and uh, this sits uh, on here. And then there are other various parts, the bracketry etc that uh, will go onto this. Uh, and then we'll look at the boards uh, that go onto this. Um, but what I want to do here is just get this reassembled and then I'll do the same thing with the electronics box. We'll get that reassembled and at least then we'll have the basic uh, systems ready to uh, put back into the machine. So I'll get this uh, screw back together. We'll have a quick look at it and um, uh, then we'll move on to the electronics box. I won't bore you with the detail of uh, reassembling this um, it's obviously very straightforward, it's just bolting the parts together, but uh, we will have a quick look at it once I've done that. I've reassembled this unit and it's all ready now to uh, start accepting parts and be put back into the machine. Um, all went together well, uh, as I said uh, previously I'd straightened this uh, rear panel, it was a bit bent, um, but it is looking much better than it was and um, it really helps to tidy up the machine. But more importantly, if I just tried powering it up with all the dirt and debris that was in here, almost certainly something would have shorted out and it uh, would have done a lot of damage to the electronics. So that's this part uh, reassembled. I'll grab the electronics box and we'll have a look at that. Okay, so this is the electronics box. As you can see, it looks much better than it did. There was a lot of corrosion down this side, if you recall from previous videos. Um, but I've stripped the entire box down, um, repainted it and as you can see it now looks much better than it did. So the next thing is to get the uh, motherboard that goes in here, which you saw I cleaned up uh, previously. I get that bolted into the box and um, I get the fan put back on. We'll have a look at it and see if it's an improvement. I've refitted all the clips, made sure the motherboard's in the right way round. And, um, they all went in nicely, nothing uh, was uh, fouling. As I said, I did have to straighten part of this box out um, before I repainted it, but it's all uh, fitted together very nicely. And uh, as you can see, it's now starting to look uh, a lot better than it did. It was in a real state when I took this out. So uh, I'll fit the fan and uh, then this box will be ready to uh, pop back into the chassis and um, we'll see how it looks once it's reinstalled. Okay, that's the fan refitted, that's the motherboard assembly complete and that's ready to pop back into the chassis. I will need to take it out again um, later on to do some more work on this and to do some testing on the boards. Um, but for now I'll pop it into the chassis just to get it out of the way um, but also to make sure that uh, everything fits in and uh, we haven't missed anything. Uh, but it is looking uh, a lot better than it was uh, when I took it out. Uh, it actually looks like it should and um, it should really make the, the machine a lot more presentable. So I'll just grab the chassis, we'll get it back onto the bench, I'll refit this and um, we'll fit a few other parts as well while we've got it on the bench. I've got the main chassis back on the bench. Uh, as you know I refitted the keyboard in a previous video and now before I refit the electronics box I've got a few other uh, mechanical parts to refit We've got the uh, side guides on one on each side and um, also the central support bracket. So I'll get those in place. Now I have of course cleaned all these and uh, de-rusted them so they're ready to go in 
Uh, I need to put these in first because I can't get to the mounting screws once the boxes are in place. So I'll get these screwed in and then um, we'll look at putting the box back in and see how that looks. So that's the two side guides and stiffeners reinstalled. Um, no problems fitting those. Uh, you may have noticed that I've popped the cover off these connectors and that's just so that I can inspect them and make sure there's no issues in here, uh, no broken or dirty contacts uh, and to give them a good clean. So I'll pop that cap back on and um, this one's done it's, uh, and I'll do this with all the uh, connectors in the system. Okay, so that's that cap back on. Uh, making sure all the pins are lined up inside. You can see the pins, I don't know if you can see them on the camera, but you can see right through these connectors and what you should see is the uh, sprung part of the contact should approximately half fill uh, the square opening. Uh, if it doesn't, uh, you might need to take the cap back off and um, adjust them slightly, but this one looks fine. So that's uh, good to go. Next thing is the uh, central support. This is the support that holds up the platform as the platform sits halfway up the machine. So we have the power supply on one side, electronics box on this side, the platform, and then we have the floppy drives and monitor sit on top of the platform. Uh, but of course it needs supporting in the middle and also uh, the chassis needs a bit uh, more stiffening because of the weight. So this thing sits like this. I get it screwed into place and um, then we're ready to put the box back in. Okay, that's the main part of the bracket, and then there's just this uh, spacer bar that sits at the back. Okay, so that's the chassis prepared. Um, everything's uh, bolted into place, and the electronics box can now be fitted. Uh, the flanges on the electronics box and on the power supply sit underneath uh, these two uh, side flanges on the supports. And the idea is that uh, they, they sit kind of like this. If I just show you something, it will sit underneath like that. And it um, prevents the boxes from lifting up so that they're held down and it supports them. And it also supports them laterally as well. So it's quite a nice system and it means that um, for normal servicing you should be able to just slide the boxes in and out. Uh, of course when I took it apart they wouldn't move, they were too um, corroded, too much debris and dirt in there. Uh, but now it should slide back in if we've done uh, our job correctly. So it's so a line one side and then it should just slide smoothly into place, which it does. Uh, and then the screw holes line up and we can just pop the two screws in that uh, hold it into place. And as I said, that's how it's meant to be uh, maintainable. You just pop these screws out and then these boxes should just slide out. But uh, you see, uh, it was a bit on the dirty side when I took it apart. So there's one each side. Um, these don't really hold it in place, they just stop it sliding out. It's the side cheeks on the mounting flanges that hold it in. So I'll just get these two screws in. And now this entire box is held firmly in place because it's underneath uh, these two side flanges and the side plate we put in. So that's the box in place. Uh, as you can see, it does look a, a lot better than it did. Um, next step is to sort out the power supply. I'm still not sure if it's faulty or not. Um, the 5 volt rail seems a bit high, uh, but I can't find any information on it. So it might be a bit of a, a slow process trying to figure out uh, if it's working or not. Um, but that's um, it for this video, uh, comments welcome, um, but uh, hopefully I can make some progress on the supply in the uh, next part.